All right, in this video, let's take a look at the table component from Material UI. As you might already know, tables help display sets of data. Now, in this video, I'm only going to focus on displaying data in a simple table format. We're not going to look at customizing the table to sort, filter, or paginate the data. And that is because I personally prefer the React table package for all of that. The React table package also works really well with Material UI, so I would recommend you give that a try if you have complex tables that you need to create in your application. If it is basic data display, you can by all means use the table related components from Material UI. Let's begin by creating a new file in the components folder MUI table.tsx. Within the file, I'm going to create a new component. Now to create a table, we need to import quite a few components. So at the top, import table container, table, table head, table body, table row, table cell, and paper from material UI. Now for the JSX, replace the div tag with the table container component. On this component, we also specify the component prop and assign the paper component. Within the container, we invoke the table component. Let's add an ARIA label for accessibility. Within the table tags, we invoke the table head and table body components at the same level. So table head and table body. Now we are ready for some data. Now you can create an array of objects yourselves, but to make this simple, head over to mockaroo.com, change the number of rows to 10, and format to JSON. Then click on preview and copy the JSON data. Each object has an ID, first name, last name, email, gender, and IP address. Let's use the first four properties in our table. So back in our component, at the bottom, const table data is equal to the array that we have just copied from Mockaroo. Next, within the table head component, we add a table row. Each row will have four columns. So we invoke the table cell component four times. The first one is ID. And similarly, we have first name, last name, and email. Now for the actual data within the table body component, curly braces, and we're going to map over the table data array. So table data dot map. And for each row, we return the table row component. And on table row, we specify key is equal to row dot ID and also some styling for our rows. So for the last TD and TH, we have border set to zero. Now within each table row, we add four table cells, one for each column. So table cell, and the first one is going to be equal to row.id. Similarly, we have row.first underscore name, row dot last underscore name and row dot email. These four properties correspond to the four properties in our table data array. And that pretty much is our table view. If we include this component in app component and take a look at the browser, 
you should be able to see the table with four columns. ID, first name, last name, and email. Now, let me go over two props which are helpful. First is the align prop on the table cell component. On the last column header, we can add align is equal to center. And on the last data row as well, align is equal to center. If you now head to the browser, you can see the email column is now center aligned. The align property is useful with numeric columns since numeric values are right aligned. The other prop is the sticky header prop which can be applied to the table component. Often you're going to come across a situation where your table only has limited height. In that case, the table data might have to scroll but you want the header to stay in place. So on table container, I'm going to add SX max height 300 pixels. And on the table tag, I'm going to specify sticky header. If we now head back to the browser, you can see we have a scrolling table, but the heading always stays in place. So this pretty much is your basic table component. With that, we have covered the data display components in Material UI. From the next video, let's take a look at a few components related to feedback. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.